If our members would just look at those photos, they could see how the course originally was and that there is a need to get back to what existed 90 years ago so that we can have Mackenzie's original intent. Pasatiempo Golf Club in Santa Cruz, California is a treasure. A vision of Marion Hollins, who was a golfer, developer, architect, well-traveled socialite, and now a World Golf Hall of Famer. It was Hollins who had a role in Alistair McKenzie designing Cypress Point, Pasatiempo, and ultimately Augusta National. But only one of those is accessible to the public. Augusta National, we all know about it. It's private. Cypress Point, who doesn't want to walk down on the ocean at Cypress Point? It's private. But Pasa Temple has all the characteristics of some of the greatest ideas that McKenzie could evoke from a piece of property, and you can play it. The public can play it. And that's what draws me to Pasa Temple. That's what draws me to making sure that style of architecture of McKenzie is preserved forever so that people from all walks could come up and play it. And although Pasa Tiempo, the course, has been tweaked and edited over the years, the original greens are almost a century old and have fallen victim to top dressing, sand splash, and Mother Nature. You know, Jim really started taking me around every time he'd come out and we'd start looking at a green and we'd start doing those cores. And he knew where the ones were going to be crazy, right? Go to five, you know, go to some of these greens where you look at it and you can just tell, like, this thing has evolved so dramatically, even you know since he was here last time, that it's just completely off the rails. And we take these core samples, and we're going 20, 24 inches down. In 20 years, this is how much it's been built up, right there. This was down flat when I did it 20 years ago, and somebody says, you're messing around with an original golf course. Please, give me a chance here. And you could just repeat it over and over and then you start going to the next screen and you could repeat rinse and repeat rinse and repeat and then once you start doing that and you start thinking to yourself well what what are the greens actually what could they actually be credit to the club's leadership and ultimately the shareholders for making a thoughtful decision on behalf of the life and longevity of their most valuable assets to me it's about paying it forward to the next generation of golfers and to the golf course itself. Um, this is an iconic place. It's, uh, it's probably my favorite place on earth. And people took care of it, so I was able to play here. And I believe it's up to the current administration board and members to take care of it for the next generation going forward. On April 16th of 2023, with shiny shovels and in golden light, Pasatiempo broke ground on a gutty venture to get back to the future of the greens of their front nine. The team of Jim Urbina, the architect, along with Justin Mandon, the club's superintendent, and Earth Sculptures, the construction crew, peeled back three holes at a time, and over the course of five months, with historic images, notes, and geological clues, interpreted Hollins and McKenzie's intentions. Upon reopening at the end of 2023, Mandon was left with a variety of pinnable locations, not to mention updated irrigation, better drainage, modern agronomy, and the rewards of the club's risky decision. And this is the best I've ever seen this place, ever. And it is phenomenal, the work that Justin and his crew has done, and Jim Urbina is just phenomenal how good this place is right now. They have put the golf course back in a way that I think McKenzie would be really proud of. You know, they've been able to manage through a lot of those things that just naturally occur on golf courses, but they've kind of reset it in a way that I think for current day golf, it's, it's gonna be special for another hundred years. We definitely did the right thing. This was, this was way overdue, it was time. And um, to, to make sure this golf course goes to the next generation, that, that's very important to me. It seems ridiculous to say that it's exceeded our expectations because our expectations were quite high. Um, but the fact of the matter is the front nine has just turned out spectacular in every aspect. Like 
I, I just can't wait for our membership and for our guests to experience it. It's going to be amazing. In the end, we didn't do it wrong. It's up for the debate if we did it completely 100% right, but we didn't do it wrong. I'm extremely pleased with how it turned out. I'm excited about the back, um, which is just going to be a whole other animal. <laughs>